I'm on my way to meet Scott Parks, a man who believes that with the best will in the world, he's never going to be slim because he's got the fat gene. So tell me, when you were a child, what was your weight like then? It's always been up and down my weight. Um, as a child, I was quite large. I've never been a big eater of lots of sweets, um, but I, I do like the odd pork scratching, etc. So at what stage in your life would you say that you were at your biggest? Probably at about 20, 21. I reckon I was 18 to 20 stone. Um, I'm now reaching back up to 18 stone, um, so I do need to do something about my weight. So what would you say is the single biggest factor as to why you struggle with your weight? I think it's definitely about genetics. Um, both my grandparents, my mum, dad, my brothers, we've all struggled with our weight. So you feel that there's, there's something like a, something genetically that's handed down through families that, that maybe makes you have a weight problem? I think you carry the genes from your, your parents and I, I believe that if they're fat, it, you've got a good chance of being fat. At Oxford University, Professor Mark McCarthy and his team have actually isolated a gene connected to weight. Scott Parks has no idea if he's got the so-called fat gene. He just thinks he does. So we arranged for a special swab test, and now he's picking up the results. So here we are. What are you expecting them to tell you? Well, I'm hoping they tell me that um, I'm overweight because of, I've got a gene problem or a fat gene. Um, I'm very nervous, though, in case uh, they tell me that I'm just overweight for eating too much and not doing enough exercise. Come in. I'm Jane, please. nice Hello. to meet Pleased you. Nice to meet you, Paul. Paul Jenkins. This is Scott. Hello, Hello Scott. Paul. Paul Jenkins, How please have a, have a seat. So, he's very nervous. He's very, very, very nervous. nervous. Yes. Just tell me a little bit first, Scott. Currently, what is your diet like? I'm not a chocolate person. Where my problem is, is scratchings. I love pork scratching, so uh, that's where I've got a major problem. <laughs> they are but, pretty yeah. full of calories. <laughs> yes, it's they gotta are. Be. Well, Scott, we've looked at your results of your genetic analysis, and the first thing is you don't have the so called fat gene, which is the gene a lot of people have heard about and think is perhaps the answer to or the reason why they're putting on weight. So you, you don't have that, you have the normal variant of that. I mean, I think I have to tell you that ultimately, um, as is the case with about 99% of people who are overweight, um, you can lose the weight by calorie restriction. You said you were hoping that Paul would tell you you had the fat gene because it would then be like a badge for you to say to people, I can't lose weight because I have the fat gene. So how do you feel now? Well, I think um, it's actually giving me a kick up the backside. I better get training a bit bit more and eating a lot healthier and and watching what I eat a lot more. I think what I need to do is make a list of what I have in the morning, what I have at dinner time because sometimes like you say, oh, I've not had, had nothing all day, you might have nipped in and, and grabbed something quick to eat and you, you forgot about it because you're that busy throughout the day and until you sit down and you write everything down, I think that's what we need, that's what I need to do. By doing that you will find out where those calories are coming from and is it oh actually it's not just one packet of pork scratchings actually there's another two or maybe there's a third one slipped in there or there's some other snacks that you're having um, and, and you'll get the idea then how to change your your lifestyle for the better in the, in the longer term but before you all rush out to be tested the medical evidence is that whether or not you have the gene it's still no excuse for being fat and uh, I'm sure there will be many people who have uh, a uh, strong genetic predisposition who remain thin and there may be some individuals who don't who become overweight. Based on current trends by 2025 a whopping three quarters of us will be overweight 